Here we go again. It's a, another new Gmail short video to help people learn about stuff. Now, um, this is about themes, and I know themes have been around in the existing Gmail, but why not as it's topical start again? So what you see on the top left here, look, is a little green blinking terminal thing. And let me show you how we got there to change our white default Gmail into a black one with a little terminal thing at the top here. So what we can do just to slip back is go to themes. So let me go to the one that you're probably familiar with and you just click it and the little thing whizzes around and you've got that. So let's just sit where we are. Notice I'm in um, snoozed at the moment which makes it all blank and I can go over to look at his inbox. Remember, the screen I'm sharing is one of my test accounts, so you're pretty much not going to learn anything from all these emails at all. So um, here we go to themes, and there's a couple of really lovely little um, surprises in here. So the first thing is that if I go down and select, and I'm going to go down to the bottom here, I'll tell you what, let's, let's try this tree, because this is one of the inbuilt themes, and you just wait for a while and you can see that it's changed into a tree and what I can do is go back to the the snoozed area only because it just shows you a kind of like what a theme is and how it looks in the new UI with the calendar and the keep on the right hand side let me show you what happens when we go into a uh, see this picture here this one of the logs that is one of my pictures and if you can which is super fantastic if you spend a lot of time in Gmail and that is that you can go in to select your background image from a bunch of featured images, uh, which I presume are all over the place on the web. Uh, probably it looks like some of those names are cropping out that uh, Google have elected to use. Then we've got my photos, your you know the accounts photos, upload, paste a URL, you know that sort of thing. So if I select one which I did earlier anyway, it doesn't really matter. It can be this one. And then watch at the bottom here, and this is the big deal, is that yes, it changes. And to have a little peek, you can move this thing around. We've got some logs, a photo I took quite a few years ago. But what we've actually got is a text background, and you can go light or dark. And what I can do is I'll save it and I'll show you what I mean. So let's go back to the inbox again. So what we've got here is that it's, see it's semi like transparent, you can see through the back. So then if I go to themes again, and this time change it to light then what it becomes is light and you can't see through it so I'm going to I'm going to leave it at dark and then just talk through the next one here which is vignette and we can see that there is a slider there and if I slide it all the way over to the right what you actually get of course is the vignette darkened round the um, I was going to say top left right bottom left right so I'm going to move that back to say halfway down just to give a little bit of a vignette on there and then the one over here is a blur and so what you can do is if you've got a particularly sharp image and it may be it's detracting from the text or quite honestly you're enjoying the image too much and you should be uh, looking at emails then if I go up to the blur and just save that hold on a second I've got full blur on. yeah okay fine let's, let's leave it on that so what you've got is a like a hint let me just go back to snoozed yeah you can see what's happened there it's actually blurred it away and it's quite nice so well, I'll say quite nice I mean I'm talking about the way it works not that the, the, the image and what I've got on screen is nice I'm saying the flexibility there to create something that is nice for you in particular not me so um, if you wish to, and I'm just going to have a look at this, I could share this theme, uh, this theme to the world and what I can do is just click it and that big long li link if I copy and paste, which I've done earlier for everybody, looks like this. And so what you've actually got just to break the link down if you're not sure, and that is uh, up to the question mark, look it's mail.google forward slash this lot themes custom light. Then what you've really just got is the image that ends in a JPG at the end of it so I just wanted to show people how that custom link works if you're into that sort of thing uh, let me just go back down and then we can clear that then what you can do is you've got a bunch of things that you can actually share some you can some you can't I'll show you what I mean is if I click to more images and time's getting on so I better finish this pretty fast you get all these tons of images there uh, cancel that 
and then we go down to the regular ones that you're more familiar with and then one I do like quite like at the bottom here is one is a random so if you hit random you get um, the definition this time a glaringly blue uh, C but if you hit Android I did quite like this one actually and I think I'll just end this video with this one and that is that what you've got is this like circuit board thing at the top which looks pretty much in my opinion kind of like like the light uh, basic Gmail default theme and then you've got a couple of little Android robots and then tactfully put in here with a little what's this guy doing he is let's finish on that actually let's just see if I can see what this little fella's doing so notice I'm just, just zooming in and then I'm going to go down to the bottom he says can I do that uh, obviously not because I've zoomed too much so let's leave it there that was uh, Gmail new Gmail themes which have been around for a long time anyway